What's up guys, this is Ashish Tiwai here and you are watching Techno Tips JQuery tutorial. So this is part 12 of this video series. In this video, I'm gonna discuss about the jQuery traversing, especially sibling element traversing. Okay, so in the previous tutorial, we have just covered the parent element traversal in part 10 and child element uh, traversal method in part 11 of this video series. Now we will discuss about the sibling element traversal methods. So let's get it started. In the previous tutorial, we have just covered the children uh, uh, element traversal method. So here you can see one of the example of that. So here the paragraph is selected based on the selector passed into uh, this find method. Okay. Now let's fulfill today's objective. So I'll just delete everything from the here so that it can be clear to you. of this here we will discuss all these methods let's see one one by one okay so first of all I'll just take some data here let's say paragraph okay paragraph one and then I'll just take a span here span one then take h1 h1 and similarly take h2 h3 h4 and then take paragraph again and then let's take a span okay so h1 h2 H3, H4, okay, and this is the paragraph 2, and this one is the span 2. Now let's reload this page and let's see how it looks. So here you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11, okay. Now let's select the middle one. Let's give H2, S3, and H4. Okay, and I am selecting, let's say, H2. So let's give a style. Style equal to background color. say gray okay so my current element is h2 okay now apply the selector here h2 okay and remove this find method instead of find method I'll just use sibling okay so all this uh, the sibling method or uh, with this method all the sibling will get the border red okay so I'm just applying this property CSS property so here my selector is h2 and all the sibling will get the red color okay so reload this all the sibling okay so this is the method load it okay so here is your selector and all the sibling has got the red color red border okay now try some different example next okay so just go next h2 instead of sibling I'll just use next so the selected element is h2 so the next one will be will get the border red okay so see 
my selected element is uh, h2 and the next one has got the red border okay now the th uh, the third example is next all so it will select all the next element say so just comment that next all so it will select all the element let's reload this okay so h2 is in my current element and all the next element has been selected and uh, has got the red border okay now let's discuss for fourth method let's copy that and paste here okay next until so you just need to specify where you just want to stop okay so next until let's say diff if I say diff if it finds diff let's see next until diff let's see okay so it has only four uh, only four has been selected okay four element and if I just put the paragraph so if it finds the paragraph let's see paragraph 2 then it will h3 and h4 will be selected except this paragraph okay now let's say next until so paragraph 2 it just find this paragraph 2 and uh, it it is not selected but all all the uh, next element has been selected okay so h2 has got these two element has been selected and until paragraph and if I put h4 then in that case h3 on only h3 will be selected okay so here is my selector h2 and see this uh, this is the next element with that uh, next until method okay so it just stop up to h4 now let's discuss different scenario A different method here previous so previous is just opposite to the next okay you just need to see so here h1 will be selected and similarly uh, if you see this example brief all so it will select all the previous element okay so let's say brief all and it will select all the previous element like a span paragraph okay so h2 is your current element and all the previous element has been selected with the brief all method okay and brief until again the same thing say brief until we just we just need to pass where we just want to stop let's say paragraph okay so when it reaches to paragraph it will just select all the uh, descent element okay so instead of uh, only the paragraph will not be selected but all all the uh, previous element will be selected okay so this is nothing but the stop range and if you put the diff then diff element will be there and here h1 if you put h1 then no one will be selected and if you put a span then only h1 will be selected let's say span okay so here it will stop at span and only h1 will be selected now this is my current current element now let's reload this okay so here h1 is selected and rest one has gone okay so this is very easy example you can try a uh, more example by yourself so i hope 
you you just understood this concept and if you have any query then you can drop your comment into the comment section and uh, if you like this video then give us a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to share this video among your friend and thank you very much for watching have a great day